Hi, and welcome to this video in which I'm going to show you how you can create basic pages for your digital signage playlists. If you log into the system, you'll enter this dashboard and you see that there are three sections. The pages section, the playlist section, and the channels section. And you can click on any of these to open them. And if I click on the pages section, you'll see that it's empty. This is where the pages go, which will make up your whole digital signage playlist in the future. How can you create pages? Well, simply by clicking the Add button and then selecting Blank Page. I can immediately set a name that I like and then click on the page which opens the menu and select Edit from there. Edit takes me to the Page Designer. And in this Page Designer, you see this big white area which re represents the page that we're going to create. And on the left-hand side, you see the different elements you can add to a page. I start with the basic elements on the top left. And if I click on the box element, you'll see that it adds a little gray box over here. And it opens up the properties of that particular box. And I can edit the properties of the box simply by changing them. For example, setting a color. You're dragging this around to change your color. And yeah, this is one I like. Click OK, and then the color is applied. Other properties are transparency, for example, or a border size. Let's also set the border color, which makes it a little bit more visible. And you can see that I can use a slider to increase and decrease the border size, but I can also set the value right here, for example, 25. And if I click on anything else, it will apply that. Actually, I like the 15 better, so I'll use that one. And you can also round corners this way. And even if it's a if it's a square image and I set the round corners all the way to the right, you'll see that you get a circle. So that's really nice as well. well let's have this one. Okay. You already saw me dragging around the element. You can do that with any element, position it on any pa uh, part of the page. And you see the four uh, little boxes on each of the corners, and you can use those to uh, to make the shape larger or smaller as you like. The little dot on top of here makes you uh, gives you the ability to rotate the element, and by holding the shift key, it will actually rotate in steps. So that will make it easier to set a rotation uh, under a fixed angle. Okay, now if I uh, um, want to delete this, I simply click on the element and select the delete option from the bottom of the box properties. And I confirm the message requesting me to do that. And then the element is gone. Okay. So what is a box element convenient for? Well, for starters, it is easy for you, uh, to create a background with. So I can enlarge this, for example, uh, pick that color that I had earlier, maybe add another box uh, here to the right-hand side, make that black, for example, and there we go. So I have a basic page layout, and now I can add something else, for example, a text. Um, let's make that a star dish, for example. Then I can create, or I can increase the uh, font size, and I have a number of fonts to choose from. These range from rather formal ones, like this one, to more um, fat ones, like this one, or really thin ones, like Real Bodo, which can be really nice, or very playful ones, like this one. I can change its color as well. And another thing I can do is, for example, set the alignment, either center it or have it aligned to the right or have it justified. But I like the center alignment and put it to the right over here. Next, another thing that I'd like to add is an image. And I have some images in here already. But um, to get image into your image catalog, it's as simple as uploading one image that you have on your local hard disk. For example, let's have this one. Nice foggy picture, but as I was referring to the star dish here, I think I'll stick with the uh, 
the Michelin star dish dot JPEG. And I can do two things. I can either double click this image or just select it and then press the use selected image button down here. With this I can resize it too, maybe tilt it a little. And uh, I can set the transparency as well, as you saw earlier. But what's nice is you can add a border, for example, and you can have an additional style, say a folded corner or two folded corners. That's, yeah, it's kind of neat, so I'll leave it at that. Okay, now let's see. Another basic element is the line element, for example. You can set its thickness, pick a color, and set a style, for example, dashed, or let's have dotted. And I can use that as well. So, there you go. So these are kind of the basic elements that you can choose from. Depending on your subscription, you can also add a video, much in the same way as you add an image. I'll leave that for another video to explain that. But you can upload your own videos and add them to your page as well. For now, I'll choose to save this. Oh, uh, and before I forget, I just want to show, quickly show you this move to front slash back option. Because uh, what that does is that it allows you to um, position elements in front or in the back of other elements. So now, currently this photo sits on front of the uh, two background boxes. Let's have it like that. Um, if I click this one, it will move it behind all other elements. So this one will make it disappear. And this one will move it in front of all other elements. So it will bring it forward again. I can also do this stepwise. So when I click this one, it will move it one um, layer down. So you will see that it now sits behind the dotted one, uh, the dotted line. Bring it back, it sits behind the text. Bring it back again, it sits behind the back box. And bring it back again, it sits behind everything. I can bring it up again like that. So that's how that works. Okay, save it again and click the Back to Dashboard button to go back to the dashboard. Now on the dashboard, you see my newly created page. I can copy that page, for example, and immediately set a new name for that. And you can edit this as a individual page. For example, set another background color, nice orange, go back, and you'll see that I have two separate pages, one with the original blue-greenish color and the other one with the orange color. I can rename that again if I like, page 3 for example, or I can delete the page by simply selecting the delete option and confirming the deletion. Okay, so this is basically how you can create a simple page for your digital signage playlist. I hope you liked the video and found it informative. Please experiment with it, uh, and if you have any questions, just let us know. Good luck.